Dillingham with a pause, the 3-1 pitch, swung on, long shot, it's a deep left field, Rose is back, and that ball is gone, a home run. Henry Aaron has just tied Babe Ruth's home run record of 714 with a cloud over the 375 marker in left field. Talk about starting your major league broadcasting career with a bang. That was the very first inning as Reds broadcaster for Marty Brenneman. Hank Aaron tying Babe Ruth for 714 career home runs the most in big league history. And now we hand it over to the Hall of Famer for the ninth inning. And here we go into the ninth inning with Robert Stevenson going to work on Travis Shaw. And the first pitch to the left-hand batter misses for ball one. 27,774 show up for today's Titanic struggle. 27,774. And Eugenio Suarez stays in the game at third. That ball was fouled off. He does that. Hopefully he'll get a ton of his bats over the weekend against the Pirates and hit about four home runs. That'd be so big. Go by Peter Alonzo and win the home run title. One ball and one strike on Travis Shaw. Here's a pitch. That's a swing and a miss. Lorenzen goes one inning and you can't do any better. He faced three batters and struck them all out and delighted this crowd of almost 28,000 with free La Rosa's pizza. And now Robert Stevenson comes with a one two pitch. Struck him out swinging. Orlando Arcia with one out. I stopped today outside the ballpark to sign some autographs where those people gather off of Maring Way. And I was there for about 20, 25 minutes. And I asked. Uh, this was yesterday. I asked a couple of guys, I said, who is the most consistent player that will stop almost without fail and sign autographs? And quite honestly, there are a lot of them that don't even acknowledge that those people are out there. And almost to a person, they said the player who always stops and signs is Robert Stevenson. Good for him. And that's a credit to him. The 1-0 pitch and a swing and a miss by Arcia. Reds will have their two, three, and four batters up in the bottom of the ninth against Hayter. Arcia's had a big day, two hits, including a three-run double. He's had the single most damaging hit off Reds pitching this afternoon. And a swing and a miss on a pitch up and in. talk about retooling that bullpen and the Reds are going to need some help in that area before the first pitch is thrown in 2020. I think Robert Stevenson found himself a home. Yeah, this kid has made more progress than really anybody else on this club. No question. And I want a shot foul to right. And I'm sure there are folks that are listening that are shaking their head like well, what? <laughs> what about Luis Castillo? What about Eugenio Suarez? Look, from where Robert Stevenson was to where he is right now, he was on the cusp of not even being in the big league. Right. And he has really changed his fortune. Here's a fly ball. He reaches for a pitch away, and that finds its way into the glove of our Stevie's Aquino. And they're two out here on the top of the ninth. And now Ben Gamble, who doubled in a run back in the fourth. He's one for three. If Robert Stevenson could throw the consistency of strikes in a starting role that he does out of the bullpen, he would have never gone to the bullpen to begin with. But I think he is, he's much more comfortable now. I think he's more aggressive. The confidence is booming from what we saw when he first got here. 1-0 pitch, and that's down a ball, 2-0 the count. 
Some players, some guys pick it up quick. Some, it takes a little while. But the bottom line is, if you want to stay here, you better pick it up. Now the 2-0 pitch, Ben Gamble, a left-hand batter, is swung on and missed. The bullpen's done quite a job today. Kevin Gausman, two perfect innings. Mike Lorenzen, a perfect inning. They've not had a base runner since uh, Manny Pena doubled to left to knock in their fifth run of the game, and that was back in the fifth inning. That's how good the relief pitching has been this afternoon. That ball has popped up over by the third base dugout. Suarez, does he have room? He does, and makes a catch, and that ends the inning. Three men up, three men down. Final three outs to be played at Great American Ballpark in this 2019 season coming up. And the Reds need two runs to get even, trailing 5-3 to three on the Cincinnati Bell Reds Radio Network. Josh Hader back to the mound as we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Changes. Lorenzo Kane is now in center field, and Trent Grisham moves over to play right. Here's Joey Votto, whose bat has been stone-cold quiet all day long, and he waves at a high fastball, and he's down a strike. Hader came on. He intentionally walked Suarez to low to put two on and bring the go-ahead run to the plate. He promptly hit pinch hitter Christian Colon. There, strike two call. And then ended the inning and left the bases loaded, inducing Jose Peraza to fly to right. So the Reds are shy. A couple of runs and Hader in the driver's seat against Joey Votto. He pitches and Votto strikes out swinging. Third time today, Votto has struck out, and now Aquino, who gave the Reds briefly a lead in this game when he hit one to left and got out of here for his 18th home run of the first inning. He has had three hits and four times up, and he swings and hits a very high pop-up off of third the shortstop calling and makes a catch and just like that the reds are down to their final out alex blandino is going to come off the bench and pinch hit for pitcher robert stevenson Getting a strikeout against Votto, getting a keynote to foul out, and now goes to work on right-handed batting Blandino. Here's a pitch. It's in there for a call strike. The left-hander turning it loose, the 0-1 pitch. And that's strike two call. This young man has been plagued since coming up by taking too many pitches. And he falls behind no balls and two strikes. And he right now, quite honestly, he's at the mercy of Josh Hader. He flings it toward the plate. And a foul on the pitch upstairs and was able to get the batter out and make contact. So barring something heroic with two outs and a 0-2 count on the pinch hitter, this Brewer ball club is going to be headed to Denver later on late this afternoon to take on the Rockies in a season-ending series. Only one game behind the St. Louis Cardinals. Who would have thought that? Nobody, except maybe Craig Council. Here's the 0-2, and he went around. That's a strikeout, and that's your ball game. Josh Hader got out of a bases loaded jam in the eighth. No suspense here in the ninth as he retires the side in order and strikes out two. And in this final home game of the year, the Milwaukee Brewers have defeated the Cincinnati Reds here at Great American Ballpark. The final score, five to three. We'll be back in just a moment.